Welcome back guys and let's talk about how to measure GPU power draw and why is that really important. So this is going to be done only with software with program called Hardware Info 64 and you don't need any special hardware that plugs into the socket even though that would be the most precise way to measure it because that way you can find exactly how many watts you're pulling out of your socket but a lot of people don't have that so we will have to use a hardware 64 software but first let's talk about why this is really important to be able to measure how many watts are you using for example, on whattomine.com, if we click over here on Vega64 card, we can see that the most profitable coin to mine is Kryptonite V7, and we are making $2.80. And Kryptonite V7 actually uses, over here you can see, 200 watts of electricity. But some other algorithms, like NeoScript, use 250 watts, and NIST5 uses 230 watts, Skunk Cache also 230 watts. So the Kryptonite V7 is one of the most power efficient algorithms to mine. And the difference is quite big. Uh, from 200 watts to 250 watts, that is difference of 25%. So if, so if your algorithm is using 25% less electricity compared to some other algorithm, but it is actually a few cents less profitable, that means that this algorithm is actually more profitable because you are making more after the electricity cost. So over here I didn't enter any electricity cost. You will have to do this because I don't know your electricity cost. So as I have said before, Kryptonite V7 gives you $2.80. But now imagine if VivoCoin on a new script algorithm would go just a little bit higher in price and money profitability. And that coin would be making you $3 exactly. So you are making $3 by mining VivoScript and $2.80 mining Monero. But even though it looks like Vivo is 20 cents more profitable, it is actually not more profitable after you enter your electricity cost. And that is why knowing your exact GPU draw and exact mining rig power draw is really important. So let me show you how does this software actually work. So when you open your software, you will actually see only this screen here. And when you click over here on sensors, you get all of this data and it has really a lot of data. You can see every CPU core, every GPU that you have, every, every RAM stick, absolutely everything. And you just have to scroll down a little bit here and click over here on GPU power. So right now when I'm only recording and GPU is mostly in idle mode, I'm using only 24 to 30 watts of electricity, but this GPU can go up to 250 watts. And now let's see what happens when I start mining and how much of power draw I actually have. So let's just click start and wait for it to go up a little bit. Let's see first what we are mining. So we are using new script, so we should be doing 250 watts of GPU power. And it is exactly 253 watts or 200. Just give it a few seconds to stabilize and it should be around 250 watts. So, whattomine.com is really precise with those GPU power measurements, so you can take it into consideration like it is a real deal and you don't really have to do it by yourself. But of course, some GPUs are made better than the other ones and some GPUs might use 10% less than the other GPUs and all depends if you have maybe like a gigabyte version that is like Aorus super clock version or if you just have some really silent edition of a GPU. So I hope that I showed you today something that you maybe didn't know and that mining the most profitable coin at that moment might actually not be the most profitable coin to mine after the electricity cost. Differences can be even up to 20% in profitability and that is huge in a long term. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you want to see in another one and bye.